everybody. JP, all about comics. And uh, I'm going to do a quick recap video of the Texas Frightmare 2018 experience. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. So it was a three day event. I only, uh, we only went yesterday. So uh, it was pretty, first time I've ever gone to a horror convention. So it was kind of cool. Um, I went there for two reasons. Um, and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, first, I want to give a quick shout out to Hazel Dan 1216. Um, had the opportunity to spend a large portion of our time there with them yesterday. Awesome people, um, good people. Uh, enjoy our conversations and our <laughs> joking around and stuff. They're uh, they're fun to hang out with. So it's good to see you guys again, and I appreciate you guys telling us about this event. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to do it again next year in the form of a three day weekend and just watch movies and hang out and just have a good old time. Um, yeah, so it was a lot bigger than I was anticipating. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but just talking to Hazel Dan, it seems that it was much busier this year than uh, in years previous. So um, with that being said, they had uh, all kinds of uh, horror movie celebrities, right? So, you know, Matthew Lillard comes to mind just because he was top of mind. Um, the kids from it, um, they were missing one from the group, but all the kids were there um, from the remake. And then, uh, you know, Billy Zane was there, which is kind of cool. Um, Kane Hodder, and Doug Bradley. Uh, I think uh, the Saw guy was there too, but I'm not familiar with the Saw franchise. It's not my cup of tea. But um, anyways, on and on and on. There was just big names everywhere. Ron Perlman was the reason one of the reasons I went. Um, so, yeah, we uh, we got there a little bit late. Traffic was, uh, it was a mess, honestly. Like, the, they had this in the DFW um, Regency Hotel or whatever, so you got people trying to get flights and us trying to get to a convention, so it was just kind of weird. Um, but, all in all, um, once we finally got there, uh, it opened at 11. I think we finally got through the doors at probably like a quarter to noon, somewhere around there, 11.30, 12-ish, ballpark. Um, and there was just tons of people. It was, uh, if you guys that did go to Dallas Fan Expo, think of Dallas Fan Expo and how busy it was, except there was no room to walk. It was literally elbow to elbow through that entire uh, hotel and uh, ballrooms and all the, all the different places. They had it broken into two different ballrooms. Um, pretty good mixture. Like there was, a, I saw one comic dealer there, and you really couldn't even look through the books because people were just on you. It was just, it was a little bit intense. Um, so I uh, went down, uh, beelined it because the first person I wanted to meet on my journey was uh, Dan Mendoza of Zombie Tramp fame. For those who know, I mean, I know a lot of people collect his stuff in this community. And um, so I wanted to meet him. I had a couple of books I wanted to get signed and whatnot. And just kind of take the opportunity to, to, to meet the guy. Uh, I know Mr. Rig and Mortis 86 is a big fan. Um, Freddy's um, is a big fan. And uh, those guys uh, had reached out to me prior to, to let me know there was going to be a book there, potentially. Um, uh, called uh, Prom of the Dead. It was uh, originally a Kickstarter book. There's only a hundred copies released. And uh, I'm proud to say that between myself, Mr. Rigamortas, Freddy's, and uh, <laughs> Hazel Dan, we have a solid 9% of the print run. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so that's kind of cool that, you know, I, I know where at least nine copies are sitting. Um, of that particular book of the 100 so they didn't have a whole lot left and maybe 20 books he said to start the weekend with so when we got there yesterday they had about maybe 10 left and and I had already reached out to uh, Hazel Dan and they helped me out the night before when they first got there and picked up some books for me and then I talked to Freddie and got what he needed or wanted and whatnot so everyone came away a winner in that deal and uh, it's a beautiful cover, and I'll show it here in a second. Um, just because I know you guys want to see some books, you don't want to just stare at me the whole time. 
Not that there's anything wrong with that, because I'm obviously at the light. Alright. So this is the book. It is a really adorable book. I have to say, um, you know, I've bought a few zombie tramp books here and there. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start uh, looking more in depth for these type of books because after having a conversation with Mr. Mendoza and just, you know, I really have an appreciation for him, A, as an artist and a creator, but also the, the, the way he treats people, you know, um, he was you know, sharing some funny stories with my wife and I and, you know, just, um, I don't know, gen genuinely a, a really nice guy and I appreciated that and that's someone that I would certainly have no problem spending my collecting dollars towards his material, so. Uh, that being said, this is, I mean, I don't know. It reminds me a little bit, like, I don't know if you guys remember Dead at 17 from, uh, what was his name? Josh Harris, maybe? No. Possibly. I'm not really sure. Josh something other. Like, back in the 2000s, early 2000s. Um, anyways, Dead at 17 was really popular, but kind of a different art style as well. But... Anyways, um, so yeah, that was the first thing I did. I went there and I spoke with Dan and um, had him sign a book for me. Uh, this one here, kind of cool, really nice signature. If I can get that where you guys can see it. I did have our CGC rep there that was going to help me out. But it just, it was just too much. I mean, just the, too, too crowded for my liking. Um, I'll try and uh, cover this up the best I can. But as you can see here, he did a uh, nice doll face remark for me. Um, really cool. Very inexpensive. Uh, pretty awesome. Just kind of add uh, her to this black and white com comic. And he signed it, of course, as well. But... Anyways, um, not for the children's viewing. So then on to, you know, we kind of walk around, 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 looking at stuff. You know, uh, Ethan Embry uh, bumped into him for like a second. And I was kind of, did not look anything like I remember Ethan Embry looking. So, um, but neither did Matthew Lillard, to be honest. But I'll be honest, watching him interact with his fans was amazing. Uh, you know, all these people are pretty pricey, in my opinion. Um, you go to a convention like this, uh, you know, like every single person was like 40 bucks for a SIG, 50 bucks for a SIG, 60 bucks for a SIG. Um, it was just, I don't know, it was, Dan Mendoza was free signatures, so. Um, so the person I went there to meet was Ron Perlman. So after I got done hanging out with the, with the Mendoza, I went over to Ron because he was actually just right around the corner from from Dan, and his line was it filled up the entire area section. Uh, there was really no room, so I talked to the gentleman that was setting everything up and basically said the lines are uncapped. I'll give you a ticket. Uh, my ticket was number thirty nine twenty. Like okay, he said come back in an hour, hour and a half. Ron's gonna head up a photo op and be back. I come back. Well, first of all, these two ladies were next with, uh, with me as we're talking to this gentleman, and I'm not sure what their relationship was to Ron Perlman, but he saw them and came out of the booth and uh, came over and I said hello to him. Um, you know, so that's how I got to meet Ron Perlman because, um, as it turns out. This was probably about 12 30 1 o'clock when I come back and the line has not moved one person so those people have been staying there since like 10 30 ish you know lined up ready to go and no one has gotten anything so basically what I, how it was explained to me um, they had so many people with the VIP skip the line passes that um, they weren't they weren't integrating you know, like most conventions will do like five VIPs, one uh, non-VIP person, so the line's moving. They weren't doing it that there. Well, they had so many VIPs, they weren't able to get regular folks through, I guess. So, as I'm waiting in line, um, uh, Hazel Dan, 
they came up and said, hey, we weren't really looking to get anything signed, so they used their skip the line pass and went and got my book signed for me, which is totally fine because, you know, I didn't need to meet Ron Perlman again because I just got to meet him, thankfully, like, it was just kind of one of those weird luck things, you know, he just happened, and I happened to be standing with the right women at the right time, and he just came out, so I got to meet him, say hello, um, they did their thing, what about their day, um, yeah, so anyways, I ended up getting this uh, Hellboy book signed. So, not the greatest thing he did right uh, over here. Hellboy, sort of, you see boy, and an H. I don't know what that is, but that's his signature up here, and Hellboy down here. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, his signature was $60. So definitely a bit, uh, a bit pricey indeed. And I know um, I was going to try and help some other people out with uh, signatures, but that line was too nuts. And uh, anyways, I'll just say my apologies in person. But so that was kind of what we went out to do. Uh, my sister went and got Billy Zane's attention so she could uh, have her moment. That was that was fun. Took some pictures. Um, Really didn't you know meet much more than that. I um, didn't really buy anything except for this awesome T-shirt. If you guys want to check this out, if you're into horror movies, you might like this. She Wolf of the SS. Kind of one of those crazy low-budget horror films. It was just a really cool T-shirt. So that was my one. Uh, off the grid purchase, if you will, splurge. So, all in all, um, I definitely would do it again. Uh, it gives me a year basically to prepare for the next one because I just um, think we could have done things a whole lot differently. And, uh, you know, if it weren't for Hazel Dan being there, um, I probably would not have gotten that Ron Perlman signature. So, I cannot say thank you guys enough because you did what you did to help us out or help me out and um, just hanging out with them good people if you guys get a chance if you're not subbed up to them you need to be subbed up to them um, they're, they're a treat and a treasure to hang out with and hopefully we'll get to do this again next year um, the video is getting kind of long I was going to show some other books but I guess I'll do a comic book free comic book day because it was also a free comic book day and we got home just in time to pick up a few things, so we'll have to show that off in a video as well. But uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoons, evening, or good night. Bye-bye.